Hey guys, we are back. So I'm for my first time making my way back to the new the new intersection in the Arcane Terrarium. Um the reason I'm filming all the way over here is because I kinda wanna make sure I have the journey straight. If I get lost, it's probably gonna be kinda fun to watch. So I should kinda probably film this. So in the last episode we got two wolves. I can't quite remember what color they will were. But I never really remember what the col color they were. So yeah. That's okay then. Also, I just noticed that there's some water up there. I should check that out sometime. But, for now, I'm going to also set up a minecart track. And then have it connect to the little thingy that popped out over here. Because that's going to be really nice and easy to do. So you're right there. Remember that place? Yeah, I do. So, obviously you do. Also, I've switched out my bow for the curse bow. I'm going to combine them. But because it has some breaking three, it just makes more sense to use this guy up instead of the other one. Because it means less if I break this thing up. Oh, also, okay, that's not glowstone underneath it. Never mind. Or, that's not redstone underneath it. Because that's how I found the last cursed disc. Uh, okay. This is the unsafe place, but it should be fine. Yeah. I don't know why I'm getting some lag spikes here and there, but it. I've been getting it whenever I start recording. They'll typically disappear. It's just regular lag. Okay, uh, let's regen here. Actually, what am I doing? Thank you, potions. Good. It was all that bad's fault. I did not break any of those spawners. I did not remember that. God damn it, guys. Get the hell out of here. So we got some instant... This is not a good place to start an episode, though. It is an interesting place to start an episode. Should be somewhere down here. This is why I wanted to film my journey here. And it appears... That I'm going to pop up right next door to an instant creeper. So remember, I'm trying to hit those catacomb thingies that I was walking through. I don't think the odds of that are very high, so... Let's try a different route. And also, let's use... Let's get that other hotbar and use this. So what I'm going to try to do instead is go above. Oh, crap. They can do that? Oh, that's a problem. Damn vines. There we go. Now they can't. I don't know how they, that's there, but that's obviously not supposed to be there. Clearly. Clearly it should not be there. Okay. I broke there. Now I can kind of just drop down. And we are safe. We're home free. Yay. Wait. Where is he? Oh, he's on the other side. Okay. We're good. So. That was unexpectedly difficult. A little close call there, but we're not dead. So it's good. It's all good. Have I explored this place yet? I think, yeah, yeah, that's right. This was the part that connected. So this is the long, long place. Light. I don't want anything spawning. I do like, I don't know if I really like or really don't like this, but I feel like if the um, glowstone was a little bit higher up, I could just make nice boat, have boats. Just go up there. Right. Uh, if we plug up all of these, life will be much easier for when I, um, think, actually, if and when I decide to make a minecart track, things will be much, much nicer. So, oh, quartz, let's use that stuff up. I still have that in my inventory. Which I shouldn't. I should have gotten rid of this stuff long ago, but now that we got it, it does look kind of nice, but not on its own. And then we got it, we'll just use it in this area. I wonder if I have any potions of fire resistance. I also have my um, fire protection armor on me. So we're going to the Enderbone, Emberbone Sanctuary. Got it. So here, one second actually. Let me get something that I use to record sometimes called a cell phone. And it tells me the time. And I need this thing so that I don't make episodes very long or very short. But because I did, you don't know what time it is, I'm just turning my clock sideways.
Sorry about that, I probably should have just stopped recording for a second, but I didn't. Hmm, I see. So is that kind of like a little reference to the Arcane Terrarium? Got it. No, that's a reference to invisible bays that are going to kick my ass. If I don't kill them. Oh wait, there's water right here, what am I doing? Oh yeah, of course he died too. And how are the light levels not high enough that they can actually still spawn? So this is... Okay, so you're right there, obviously. You gotta get dead. I gotta say, I like time this so I would not see anything of importance. And place in the correct spot. Thank you very much. Why can't I get out of this water? I'm... What the hell? There we go. You, get the hell out of here. Where's your spawner? Is it somewhere around here? It is. Get dead, jerk. And then there's another one right there. Nope. Alright. There was another one somewhere, though. Are you kidding me? Are your spawners just, like, everywhere? Or is there another one? Okay, maybe there's one at every, um... When I tell you to get dead, you gotta get dead, dude. Seriously, that's not cool. Okay. So now, let's cop behind you. Oh my god. God, this is... Seriously, guys. Can you just be dead? Okay. There you are. So that was two behind the painting. Two blocks behind the painting, so... I don't know if the next one will follow that pattern, but let's check there first. Holy crap, let me out. What the hell's up with this damn water? Okay, I'm not hearing anything spawning. So that's good. Uh, let's still block up the lava. Whoa. That could have been death. Hmm. Well, let's just go around. Oh, right, we can't because of that stuff called redstone. Could really use some fire resistance right now, but I can never remember potion recipes, so I don't have any of that crap. But it's okay. I know we use you. You go here. And then we can just keep on going forward. And I swear, if it damn gas spawn, or not gas, blaze spawns, and knocks me off of this thing into the lava, I will be smart and use my potion of healing. And then I will be very angry at him. And he will not be my friend anymore. But, I do you believe this is making a left hand turn? Yeah, so we're going to have to manually run through this place. Warning, do not enter. We have blockheads here. <laughs> bad puns are bad. Uh, I still don't totally trust this place. I'm letting all these guys spawn, but what's this Bruce in a box? Blaze, fire resistance. Fire resistance. Hint, hint, this could be useful, but not for here. So first, I guess, let's just test out the strength of these jerks. Okay, let's get this. How many of them are there here? Okay, never mind. There's so a hard and a half of my armor, which isn't great armor, but it's decent armor. So I can't... There's zombies. And there's enough of them that they're glitching out. Great. Uh... I don't have a lava bucket. Let's just place you here. Get the hell out of here. Okay, good. Now, let's go up. See how... F 
Excuse me? Honestly, I'm kind of dumbfounded. There's, there's just like a line. Uh, if this were my, oh, what's this? I don't know, cause I can't break blocks right now because of the amount of crap that's here. Like, if this were on my old computer, um, it would not be running. It'd be saying. Hey, screw you, I'm not your friend anymore, and I'm exploding. Kablam. And then I would have to end this series. It's a very good thing that I got the new computer before I got to this area. Because holy crap. There's a lot of crap. Lava bucket. Where's my damn lava bucket? I don't have invisibility potions. Yep, yeah, nope, there's no... Somehow or another... What, how many entities are there anyway? Uh, e... Uh, hello, yeah, 130, 138 of them, and they're all right next to my face. Beautiful. Okay, here, now we can go around. This might be completely cheating, but... There's no way in hell I can get through that place. With the amount of insanity happening there. I mean, seriously, look at this crap. If I fell down there, I'd just be like, Oh god, oh god, I'm dead. I wouldn't even have time to say kill me now, because they've already killed me by now. Seriously? Holy crap! I'm so, that's, that's literally all I can think right now. Saying holy crap over and over is not great commentary. But, uh, I'm out of pickaxe. So, let's get another pickaxe. Tell you what, guys. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right back. See ya. Okay, I'm making my, my way back by foot again, but this time it's for a slightly different reason. You see, um, when I was running over there, I noticed a small... Oh, that's important detail. That's not a small detail. Uh, I noticed it in the Arcane Terrarium. There we go, and hop in. I noticed in the Arcane Terrarium that we had a little um, thingy that was important. That was an important detail, which was that. I am carrying too much crap on me. Um, it was that there was a chest on the back of the staircase that I had not noticed yet. So, I am gonna check that guy out and see if there's anything interesting there. And if there is, then hooray. And hopefully that I also gave those blockheads time to respawn. Or, not respawn, oh god. No more of them. No more. You hear me? No more. Get dead. No more. Holy crap, that lag. This is what happens whenever I start recording. It's just it's typical recording lag. There we go. Perfect. Now, what's in here? Efficiency 3. We'll keep you, I guess. I don't need you guys. You're a good food source. We'll keep you. That's got everything on it and nothing in good quantities, so... If, there's, if I was just starting the map, I would totally take it. But at this point, nope. Okay. Uh. No. Let's just keep on going down. Plus, I kind of wanted to have a good base damage value. So this is my new route down, I guess. It's safer. Right, let's... Yeah, let's just start using bread. Get out of my inventory. And then... Save this inventory space. I haven't run into any mushrooms, so I'm not going to even bother keeping the bowl. And now we should be totally full on our saturation bar, I think. I think it's just the size of the second hunger bar. I'm not sure, though. Of a second hunger bar, not the second hunger bar. Not sure, though. So, I could be totally wrong about this, and that would be kind of incorrect. So got a couple options. Obviously so many of them are going to spawn that I should have gotten in a bucket so I could just kill them 
and save my sound engine and your ears some pain. Sadly, I didn't think about doing that, and so that's not what's happening. But, ooh, hello. There we go. It's more like it. Yeah, uh, just loading chunks, I guess. I don't know. Because, yeah, this is kind of weird. And that guy still doesn't want to disappear. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's just make sure that there aren't any spawners in this area. Get a couple extra levels, too. Because we're already at level 16. I think we need level 19 to get through that. To get um, through this place. Okay. Uh, they didn't all despawn at all. So we're just going to have to be boring and go up top. Here is spawner number one. Uh, I was about to just go dig straight down, and then I realized that that would entail dying. Which is kind of what I'm trying not to do in this series. So we're not doing that. Uh, if I had some TNT, it would be very nice. This works too. Ah, crap. Uh, okay, this is a problem. This is a problem. So I guess we could go th for... Okay, so first we have to make it unlikely that anybody will actually want to walk it. That's not gonna happen. Um... Screw it. Uh, let's be lazy with our lighting. I don't need you guys, jerks, faces. There we go. No more. Is that bright enough? Okay. Oh. So I can... If I time it right, I can kind of... Okay, so now we go back. Get walled off, you jerks. That's right. You're stuck. I tricked all of you guys. I tricked you jerks. Okay. That was interesting. There were a lot of them. Absolutely nothing is straight up. Enderbone Sanctuary is straight down. It's bad that I'm actually going to check out absolutely nothing because I want to find out even though it's obviously absolutely nothing as the name says but it sounds like an area name so I probably shouldn't yeah let's not swim up the water let's make that our safe way down that's not our safe way down ah screw it let's check out the underbone sa sanctuary we're already halfway there so why the heck not so what I see is gold armor Breaking three. I'm breaking three sword. A smooth sandstone. Don't care about that stuff. This is a boom kit level two. Oh! Could have used that last time, but I don't care. We have another flame one bow. We can replace this. Why do I still have this gold sword on me? It's really not going to... I guess it's my backup sword, but still. Okay. Another stack of this stuff. Some TNT. Always, always appreciated. Uh, can't give up my... Mm, sharpness 3 shears are never going to be used again. I'm not going to lie about that, but... Let's see... Some water buckets would be nice. And I can handle the rest of this stuff. You don't really need the rest of it for a cannon, so... I'll be fine. Right, we have our power 2 bow, so we don't need a power 1 bow. It's got them breaking, so we're fine. I'll quickly use up two of these guys. Remember, our goal is level 19. So, at this point, it should be about right for me to stop. Actually, I could... Oh, wait, no, I don't have an anvil. I was going to say I could stop right now. So, that is void. So, I'm going to real quickly cover that up um, with the glass the TNT kit gave me. Because it does not make me feel safe. That's where I still know that it's not safe down there. But by the same token, I'm still safer. Because I don't want to just be derping around. Because this feels like kind of a 
base-esque place where I make one of my crap temp bases like the one in the first place except for it's uh, a bit more dangerous, a lot more dangerous and I'm not familiar with the area two big problems very big problems but oh thank you yeah good kept that oh I did keep all these guys so I could make a flame 2 I'm not sure if flame 2 is any better than flame 1 because I just see them catch on fall mm, it's a good thing I caught that that would have made me very angry if I fell into it right okay so I have a feeling this is just gonna be a full spawn place but let's just check it out because I really doubt even though it is possible that he designed it he made that mob the little skill jerk so he spawns like with gold armor seems a rather dumb thing to do yeah you can blow up whatever screw you give me all that redstone xp just gotta light up the edge of this god this is a really nice looking place though cause i'm sick of stuff i'm already sick of stuff spawning around on it probably should not be walking on the edge of this but that's okay this is a good place to get shot off of hey enderman oh slimes hey slam see you guys are like the cool dogs and when i say dogs i mean like dogs in my first survival world, I was just walking around with my little slime, and it was awesome. And they had a dog, and I was like, screw you, dogs. We got my slime, and he's my friend, and I don't need anything else. And there's a creeper on top of my temporary house thing. Right, so, I'm not quite sure what's in the sanctuary. I want some lore to see if it's a safe place or not. Fortunately, I'm not getting this lore. Unfortunately, I'm not sure. That sounded kind of like fortunately to me. So we're going to have to take a quick look at this corner edge thing. And see that it is not greatly lit, but it's well lit enough that there's not going to be too many dangerous spawns. This place looks kind of weird because it's a 90 degree angle. And 90 degree angles are unnatural, especially in, my, especially in Minecraft. Um, had to do how punch two or is this power two? Power two that explains a lot. So where should we go? There's really no below. No, this is called the Enderbone Sanctuary. Um, although this is called the Enderbone Sanctuary. Okay. Oh, I guess we're not getting any of that stuff. Oh, we got my precious scuba helmet on. Not giving up that for the helmet. Go. Okay, we're gonna have to make. Oh, then we'll have a chance to buff up our diamonds. So I was gonna say we're gonna have to make a new sword. So, uh, why don't we go up to absolutely nothing? Because there's a staircase there, and it makes me curious. So quick run through of this place if I see anything real right now I will make a point to do something with it not sure what yet I didn't really think through the ending of that sentence so this place is all really well lit oh absolutely nothing has a thing but walking this close to water makes me nervous or Especially on things that don't let you shift, so. Let's quickly do this. And that. And I see holy hand grenades, and I'm not sure what they mean in a CTM map, but I know that it's the most glorious weapon in all mankind, and so that makes me happy. So, first, let's check out our holy hand grenades. Directions by somebody. First, thou pullest the holy pin. Then, thou must count to three. Three shall be the number of counting, and the number of counting shall be three. For, thou shalt not count, neither shalt thou count two. 
excepting that thou proceedeth to three. Five is right out. Once the number is three, being the number of, ca of ca the counting be reached, thy, then lobbest thou holy hand grenade in the direction of thine foe. And that's kind of taken right out of Monty Python, the Holy Grail, and I, I appreciate that. And I think those are just insta-kill potions for everything. So we got Amlopian Fire Resistance, which is 8 minutes, and vastly superior to the zombie that is killing me. He said it was nothing. It was not nothing. We have a liar on our hands, people. And then there's a second one right here. It's just standard zombies, so that's weird. Uh, I feel like there's some behind these. I keep on getting weird particle effects, but that's just lava, it looks like. And we don't want to have lava. Oh, oh my god, it looks so cool! Coolest bridge thingy over lava ever. Also, I'm not sure if light this stuff. Yeah. Oh, that looks cool. I don't even care that, you know, this should be used on a house or something. It just looks so nice. So what is this? It looks pretty. That fence is on fire. Holy shit, that was a lot of damage. Let's get our holy hand grenades out. Where's my holy hand grenade? Oh god. That was way too... What? What's on his sword? Holy crap, muffins. Run away. I gotta check out that sword. Because if that thing dealt me that crap ton damage, unless there's something like kind of... Knockback one? No, no. It's dealing way more damage than that. That was like butchering me. Oh, that's why. Hehe. <laughs> so let's get some holy hand grenades out on this. And switch this out for that because they're way more fun. Uh, good, I got one of these on my hot bar. The more holy hand grenades, the better. I'm pretty sure it'll kill me if I hit if it hits me, so... Let's test it out. Okay, that strategy worked, too. I was kind of hoping for something more climactic, but... Whatever. Uh, lighting? None. I think this is the, um, one sim... Okay, where are you guys spawning from? You're spawning from right here. Oh, test, test, test. Oh my god! I killed me using magic. Okay. That thing's an insta kill as I thought, but it is an insta kill for me. Basically, since it heals and deals damage at one point or another, think of it as a giant little graph that goes really high up and really low, and at one point or another, it's gonna kill you. Just uh, get get rid of that first half and just get at one point or another, it's going to kill you. Um, because it is. It deals you a lot of damage, and then it heals you up a lot. So that way, for undead, it also kills them. I think that's the idea behind it. In fact, I know that's probably the idea behind it, which is why it's an insta-kill. But, the problem is, it killed me, and I don't have my damn 42 deaths anymore. The jerk got too close to me, and made me hurt me. Now I gotta make this long trek back to get my crap. Thankfully, though, I noticed where the spawner was. So that's good. I probably should have gotten a chest plate. But there's a lot of enemies over here, and I don't like that. That does not make me feel good. Honestly, you follow me? Oh my god, now I gotta do all this work. Oh yeah, it hasn't even been five minutes since I believe these guys. We are good, we're good, we are good. So, keep on going forward. And then we run for a while. And we're going to have to go over the way, place that I blocked off all those jerk faces. Swim up. Hopefully it doesn't take five minutes. But if this stuff was still spawned in, I would be just fine. Actually, it kind of surprises me that this stuff was still here. I thought it had been f way more than five minutes, but I guess not. Just felt like I was doing more than I was. So we're going to have to think how we're going to get light sources now, though, because I was stupid and didn't bring any torches. Probably should use this as an excuse to, you know, get my stuff back together. I didn't. Okay, but note to self, holy hand grenades are deadly. We're going to want to have a 
big perch over them. When we use these things, we're going to want to be way above our enemy. And then kind of drop it down. So it will be like a little bomb. And then we will have to count to three. And it will be very, very, very... Um, very formal. And I will count this to three. And I will count to two. A condition that I count to three. And I just realized I don't need that. I also don't need that because I'm going to get some food in a sec. And I'm fine on health. So, okay, hopefully not mu not too much of my crap fell in the lava, especially those those precious little boots. And the first thing that comes to my head is before we even do get the rest of the crap, so we got one of them. Which button is that? There we go. And now we can actually be comfortable and you know regear ourselves at a realistic pace. So, pushing a bit too fast, I think, but that's okay. I'm a bit worried about, you know, overstepping, like I did then, with... Well, I guess, no, it's not really overstepping. This, I think this is gonna, it's gonna have to be more of a panic weapon, though. So we already have a fully healed flame bow. We're gonna have to use our backup sword, which makes me sad, but we have our, um, our diamond sword. So, we should be fine. Where, I don't know where our last sword went, but or pickaxe went, but whatever. I think I got everything. Ah! No! My plans have been ruined. I lost my curse bow. See? It's not there. It fell into lava. And speaking of falling into lava, let's fix that possibility right now. With our cool looking glass. Don't want to fall in the lava. Those guys had a lot of knockback. Right, so... Oh my god, this place does not make me feel safe. I don't know what you are, but you don't feel safe. You have a very high spawn rate, and I don't like that. Let's go... Kill you. Okay, so you spawn right away. But you're just normal zombies. So in the end, you're not much of a challenge. Hello, grinder room. You'll become a grinder room because you say, I am a grinder room. Because you spawn those fancy zombies. Is there something on the other side? Oh god, my mouse cord's kind of making the mouse move whenever I let go of it. That's scaring me. I don't like this place. It's making me nervous. Let's do this. Nope. Creeper jerk face. Well, we will make railings on either side of this. We will make railings on either side of this. Then we will go up and block the lava before we make the. with the good material to make block lava. Oh, efficiency 3. That's a nice book. I don't remember when I got that. thingy. Perfect. If it ends up dropping lava backwards, I'm going to be really annoyed, but that's okay. And it's sand. That makes me suspicious, and I will check it out now. I'm ready for anything. Aha! We have a scroll of something. Oh my god, I'm never open. Instant damage 2, resistance 3. Hello. Screw you, holy hand grenade. You killed me. This does not kill me. Also, we're going to kill this jerk face with my... Much more comfortable... I'm much more comfortable with this guy. So we will use him. You have enchanted bow. You went poof. Seriously, what the hell was up with that? And then you go poof too. Oh my god, screw you. Grinder room because it's like set up like a grinder. I'm not even going to use these things as grinders, but the way they're set up, it's easier just to block them off than light them up. And then one last one. Uh, first get rid of everything else. 
perfect. That was the everything else. That was really easy. And then... Nope. Hello? Oh my god. Right, uh, let's do this. Boom. We're safe. And this is a chance to use the holy hand grenade safely. See, always when using mythical referential No, that's not what we want. You want you? Then we throw it away. See, you always throw the holy hand grenade away from yourself. That way you don't make yourself die. And then we go here. Oh my goodness. That's right, backstory five. And we are in... Well, there's the green core, I guess. Is the green core over here, or is it over here? Oh, it's just confusing. Damn. Hmm. The third intersection is a very doomy place. I don't like it. It makes me feel unsafe, as it probably is meant to. But, yeah. It will look very homey. This will be the place that I must make transform completely. But, um... First, run away backwards. Hello, get, get in my inventory. There we go. So, backstory five. The Emberborn Sanctuary used to, used to be home to the pure star until the researchers of Arcane Company took it away. They, this has left the sanctuary very vulnerable to corruption. The core inside the sanctuary be the hardest yet to get, so be prepared. Basically what I'm getting is the core inside... Okay, so that's the sanctuary that I was in, the place that I was earlier in earlier down there, that I was like, what, there's nothing here. So the grand intersection is over here, so I'm going to actually check that out. Um, uh, let's just check it out right now. So we're going to unsafely. So we can get our iron block now. That's good. I was kind of scared I wouldn't be able to do that. But it looks like we can. I'm going to make this bridge a lot safer in the future. But this place is pretty well lit. As long as we don't activate any of the, lava, the unupdated lava here, it should be safe. If we do activate it, then we're screwed. Um, so let's just not activate it. At least that's my plan anyway, just not to activate it. Alright, we press shift. Boom. Got it. Done. Let me go down here. This is a number three. A big number three. And the reason I'm checking this out is because I don't think it'll take too long. All it is going to be is just me just breaking things and walking through it. But because this is still significant, I kind of have to still film it. So it's important enough. Do like in that awkward middle? Not the creamy middle, but the awkward middle. Um, we have minecart track. I like minecart track. But I'm going to walk it the first time because there could be traps on the track. So there are blazes there, but we have TNT, so we can handle them like that. See, I'm already thinking how... I'm already thinking through these puzzles. Oh, okay. That's not just a minecart track. That's a minecart exploder. That's not the proper term for it, by the way. I'm just calling it that because it has a better ring to it, I think. So we got this. You don't have any chest plates, you little scammers. What's in here? Four gold. Sure. Well, actually, you need that in the long run. Skeleton jerk face. This is... We got the smooth stone. Railway kit. We know what's there. We got something else. Another golden pick. I don't like golden picks. They break. But we gotta dig. How far must we dig? There's a lot of blocks. And you know what we see? I see my beautiful house. It'd be very nice if you know connected to one of these, but... I'm going to... Right now. Right now. When I say right now, I mean right now. What can we check? Um... Screw you, rotten flesh. 
Okay, I quickly pick up all this stuff. It just looks a bit nicer, because I can't pick up obsidian yet, or else I would not do that, because I'd take forever. What am I talking about? But, let's just quickly run through this place. Oh, hello, lava. You are in my way. Let's go right here. It's right into the... Let's go right here into the lava. Yep. Thinking. Okay, be very careful. This is going to be the most stressful returning to my home ever. Every single time I finish something here, it's going to be like, Okay, now let's make sure not to turn slightly left and walk into the lava and kill ourselves. But, we did get through this. So these are the last four. So there should be two more after this. My guess is they're not in an intersection because those are all connected to bud switches. There's probably something that happens when I get all of them. Which means... Uh, they're probably going... I'm suspicious of teleporters. But, I think that I'm going to end the episode here right after I do one little thing. I'm going to give... We're going to make this my official sword because you are about to go poof. So we're going to have to give you something. Fire aspect. And you don't work. And... Ble no, we already have blast protection. And... Why, why am I giving that to a sword? Fire aspect. You get fire aspect because I don't have anything else. Got it? Fire aspect. Get fire aspected. Boom. Done. Boom. Bleh. Well, words. You go here. Holy shit, that place is really full. It's very foul. I love how I said that. And then we got 11 levels. What can we waste 11 levels on? Why? We can put protection 2 on this. And where's protection 2? Because we already have our blast protection 2 with our... Blast protection 5 with our helmets, so... I'm not even going to bother. Alright, we should rename these. Let's name it the, um... The, f the fiery... Slicer. Oh, that costs more levels I, that I don't have. We'll do that later. And you are the diamond chest plate. Nope, you are the... Yeah, that costs 14 levels. So we're actually, I'm actually gonna try to, um, I'm actually gonna try not to use my level grinder because now that we got enough arrows, and I also have my scroll infinity, that once I get to enough levels, I think it'll be way more fun not making our stuff automatically just OP as hell, but instead, you know, actually kind of working through it. So I'm gonna try to do that. That sounds like a bit more fun, but. For now, I think we're going to cut off the episode here. So, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe. All those good things that you do. Tell me that I'm a beautiful person. And everything like that. I'm actually recording... Just so you know, guys, I'm recording this, I think, five weeks in advance. I'm five episodes up. I'm doing this because of school. So, if you comment stuff on episodes and I don't do them for a while, it's not because I'm not listening to you. Even though they haven't gotten, gotten any complaints, I want to think that. I'm, I am getting mysterious complaints that don't exist. Uh, it's because I'm just that far ahead. And you, holy crap, that drop must get shot now. So, I'm going to end the episode. Oh, one more thing. Uh, we have to put this in the, the story stuff chest, which is up top. Not that up top, this up top. Story related stuff, yay. So we got backstory five, and we also have purity cores. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. Crap, we missed something. Well then, so that will end the episode. I will see you guys next time. Bye.